Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to find Capasso licensed users? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to find the licensed users with Capasso. Now the reason that you want to find these licensed users is that the only way you're going to start generating mechanical royalties is if you are finding users that are licensed to Capasso. So I'm going to head over to my PC and show you step by step how to find them and give you some tips on how to approach them. What's up? So the very first thing that you want to do is head to the Capasso website. So I'm going to just click on Capasso and this is how it is. Capasso.co.za. That is the, the website link. And then where it says more, click on more and then a drop down will pop out. You can't see it clearly now, but uh, uh, let me just zoom in like that. You click on more and then you'll see something that says license services. So you click on license services and then you will get a, not an exhaustive list, but a list of probably the top payers for mechanical royalty services. So these are the license services and you can see there's actually quite a lot in terms of streaming. Here they are the ones that you'd expect Apple Music, Google Play, which is YouTube now. And um, what is another one? Jukes is also on here, which is quite big in South Africa. Spotify is also on here. So that basically means you are getting mechanical royalties um, whenever anything is being streamed on these services. So getting on these ones is pretty easy. I'll leave a link in the description to, uh, with for DistroKid. And I also made a video where you can get onto these platforms for um, for free. We choose whichever one suits you. And then another one which is interesting for download um, a lot of musicians are asking where we can put our music to get downloaded. So the one that I typically send most people is iTunes, sometimes Google Play I've been using, but there are other ones that you can possibly tap into. They are all more or less paid. So it's not a free download that you're enabling with most of these services, but you can put the price for some of them at very low price, but it's another way to get your mechanical royalties. Telecom, um, telecom. I'm not too sure what this is, but I'm assuming this is probably when your music is being played on when someone's calling and it's on hold. I might be wrong for that one. I've never actually looked into it, but I'm just showing you that this is another potential um, mechanical revenue stream that you could actually go into. Online radio is another one which um, I have tried to dabble in, not successfully, but you can see that there are actually a lot of possible online radio stations so getting your music onto here and being able to track it you should be able to get your capacitor royalties from online radio as well and then in stores when you walk into a store and then you hear music being played that's also a generating a mechanical royalty generator and there's several over here that you could possibly tap into to try get your music more out there and being used by different types of vendors but you also have to consider um depending on where you're putting your music does this music suit this type of customer so for in store you don't want necessarily something hectic because it's it's people it's in the back of people's minds you know and then in terms of download and streaming that is more or less whatever you want to do telecom is this one is still a little tricky for me but i will do some research and if i find anything that's worth sharing i will share it out with you so Think logically before you send your music to whichever platform that makes sense, okay? But yeah, that concludes this part. That concludes this video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan signing out.